Luca Vildoza was enjoying a career season in the Euroleague when an NBA opportunity arose for him. The guard from Argentina seized it eagerly, and though he earned a couple of million dollars, Vildoza ended up playing a mere 17 total minutes in the NBA, an experience that left him hurt by the challenges of the world's strongest basketball league. In 2020, Vildoza was on a roll. He clinched victory in Europe's most competitive national league, the Spanish ACB, with Basconia, and was awarded the finals MVP title. The subsequent season witnessed his highest scoring output in the Euroleague. However, it's worth noting that Vildosa's performance in the Euroleague wasn't extraordinary, averaging 10.3 points per game is respectable but not overly impressive. Regardless, Vildosa was on the NBA's radar. The 6'3 guard signed with the New York Knicks in May 2021. His move's timing stirred controversy since he moved to the Big Apple just weeks before the ACB playoffs. Vildosa himself expressed discomfort about leaving midway through the season, leaving Basconia without a crucial piece. Yet, when the NBA beckons, players in Europe rarely turn down such an opportunity. Vildosa noted that the Knicks presented a unique chance that might not come again, and he couldn't afford to let it slip by. The Knicks inked Vildosa to a four-year contract worth $13.6 million, with the last three years being non-guaranteed. He received $2.25 million for the 2021 season without even stepping onto the court. Interestingly, signing Vildoza created a drawback for the Knicks players. It pushed the team beyond the salary cap floor, meaning that without the signing, they would have been around $3 million under the floor. According to the NBA Collective Bargaining Agreement, this shortfall must be evenly distributed among the 15 players on the roster, roughly translating to a bonus of about $200,000 per player, which was now forfeited. His arrival in New York coincided with the Knicks' playoff run. Consequently, it was unsurprising that the South American did not play due to visa issues, COVID-19 protocols, and unfamiliarity with the team's program. Nonetheless, based on the reactions, the fan base was excited about Vildoza's arrival and eagerly awaited his on-court performance. Vildoza was, and remains, a combo guard, excelling more as a scorer than an offensive orchestrator. While he isn't a lockdown defender, he is above average on the defensive end. According to NBA sources, the Knicks faced competition for Vildoza and had to sweeten the deal to secure him. The decision to make the majority of the deal non-guaranteed proved prudent for the Knicks, as signing Vildoza was a speculative, low-risk move to fill out the roster. They had the summer, including the 2021 Olympics, to evaluate his performance before committing to fully guarantee his contract. Initial excitement about seeing Vildoza in action waned quickly. He sustained an ankle injury during the NBA Summer League and underperformed due to the injury at the 2021 Olympics, averaging 7.7 .7 points over three games and shooting a dismal 16.7% beyond the arc. The Knicks chose to release him because of the injury. He underwent surgery but didn't abandon his NBA dream, signing with the reigning champions of Milwaukee Bucks in April 2022. This time, he did step onto the NBA court, playing seven games for the Bucks in the playoffs. Vildosa's debut was as flashy as his creative game. He recorded three assists, the final one being a behind-the-back pass to Thanasis Antetokounmpo that culminated in a highlight-worthy dunk. It was Vildosa's second assist that captured the attention of Giannis Antetokounmpo from the sidelines. Thanasis Antetokounmpo stole the ball in the Chicago backcourt and executed a behind-the-back pass to Vildosa, though it was too high. The 6-foot, 3-inch guard leaped to catch it with his right hand, smoothly landing on the Bulls logo at half-court before executing a precise bounce pass to Jordan Wara, who finished with a dunk. In summary, Vildoza averaged 0.7 points and 0.6 assists in 2.4 minutes per game for the Bucks. Although the Bucks were enthusiastic about Vildoza, he suffered a calf injury during the 2022 Summer League and didn't shine in three preseason games, where he averaged 2.7 points in 10 minutes per game. In October, the Bucks released Vildoza, and the Argentine returned to the EuroLeague, signing with Red Star Belgrade, where he enjoyed a career-best season, averaging 12.6 points per game. The memory of not having the right opportunity to showcase his skills in the NBA still weighs on Vildoza. Reflecting on his time in the NBA, he stated, I started off with the Knicks, where I was injured. Then, I went to the Bucks, where I was cut. I played there, but it was tough for me. Being there, not practicing, and watching how they're practicing. I had to wait 48 minutes to get onto the court. When they were winning or losing by 20, I came in.
I was like, I don't want this for my life. Vildoza also believes that he wasn't the best fit for NBA teams, primarily due to the internal competition within the team. He added, it's different. It's another level, the best league in the world. You have to fight every day. You have four or five guys playing in your position, trying to win a spot on the team. So, every time you miss a shot, you know if somebody makes one more, he will take your position, no matter who you are. Despite losing confidence during his NBA stint, Vildoza underwent significant personal growth. He remarked, I learned how to take care of myself, especially from Giannis. He gives his 100% in every practice. I remember that he once said that playing there is easier than here. He's very humble. One of the first nights we spent together as a team, he sat with me and the rookies, asking us about our lives, families, and where we came from. That meant a lot, but that's the kind of guy he is. Truly a special person. As for the prospect of an improved and more experienced bulldozer returning to the NBA, he himself stated that he isn't thinking about going back to the NBA.